This chapter is about exporting. And one of the areas that's actually kind of fun to do, if you're into this kind of thing, is exporting out to publishing services like Facebook, Flickr, etc. Now, I'm in the library module right here, and you do have a publish services area right over here. If I open that back up again, we have things like Facebook and Flickr and Behance and even your hard drive, and you can add more services by clicking right here if you use other ones. Now, I've set Facebook and Flickr up already. Let me show you if I double click on Facebook. Basically, what you're doing here is you are going to authorize on Facebook the right of Lightroom to publish into your site. So you have to have, obviously, a Facebook account set up. You have to have a Flickr account set up, etc. And you would have the ability to click here and then authorize it, signing in with your password, etc. You can remove any time you want to. You can change the description name. Facebook albums down here. You can even go directly to that album inside your Facebook account. Now, what do you want the titles to be? I usually use the title in my metadata. That's IPTC title. So I leave that there. You could use the file name or leave blank if you want to. If empty, in other words, if this isn't here, do you want to use the file name or leave blank? In that case, I probably would use the file name. I can update the photos too. And you want to replace the existing title if you update the metadata. It's usually what I want to do. You can do a file renaming down here if that's what you want to do. In video files, I would suggest leaving that at medium as opposed to max because videos on things like Facebook and Flickr don't need to be too big or nobody's ever going to look at them. Medium is actually pretty good for files and, yes, H.264. Notice down here it says JPEG and it's grayed out. Facebook and Flickr accept photos, but they have to be JPEG, so you can't change that. But you can change, if you want to, the quality of the images as you go down this way. Now down here, if you want to resize them, now this is a default for Facebook in terms of long edge. You can leave that. If you don't want to leave that, turn it off, and basically it won't resize the images. But if I am resizing them, then I'm going to go down here and sharpen and for screen, and the amount would be standard. Last two things down here are metadata. If you want to include that, I would remove my location information. And watermarking if you want to watermark them. You get all this set up, go ahead and click Save. Now you would do the same thing for Behance. You do the same thing for Flickr. Click here if you want to add more services. You can do as many as you want. But what do we do here? How do we put the image in? Well, if I open up, say, for example, Flickr, right here. Here's my photo stream. And there's another one here for Facebook too. Let's go into our folder for Key West and let's say we want to put this image out onto our Flickr account. So you take it from here and you drag it down into photo stream. If we select it here, you can see it. Now I can come over here and select it here and then come into, say for example, my metadata. I can give it a title, a caption, which wouldn't be a bad idea. All the stuff will go along with it. And then all you have to do is click the Publish button over here. And when you do, it is now actually publishing this out to Flickr. Now let's say after it's done, you come back a day or two later. And you go, well, I should have changed some things because now it says Published Photo. I can still select it here. I can come over here and change things. Key West, Mallory Square. Put in a caption. Copyright. 2013, well, whatever you want. But now that you've changed that information, I could even do this. I could select the image over here and go into, let's scroll up here, Quick Develop, and change the exposure, and republish it right here. And it goes ahead and republishes the image. Now, if you go out to your account, it will be there. So Flickr, Facebook, Behance, whatever you want to use, if you want to update them automatically, set up the accounts, move them into the photo stream, and these will always be here every day. They'll always be there. And basically when you get done, you click the publish button. There you go.